Uh, we're moving on to nutrition now. Um, I don't know if you know much about the subject. <laughs> Couple of things. Um, what is your approach or procedure when working on a client's nutrition? So I'll always try and look for quick wins first. So if a client is sleeping really poorly, I'll probably focus on that because sleep can change just so much for people. Uh, level of energy, concentration, well-being, hormonal function, really important. Um, they might be really poorly hydrated, so I know that's going to have a quick win. They might not be eating hardly any protein and they're training hard, so might be able to elevate that. So I'll try and get quick wins because if the client can see those quick wins, their motivation you know, doubles, triples, they're, just, mm. they're off on one. Um, so a perfect example of that is trying to get weight loss fairly quickly with a client. Um, and that's where I do like you know, slightly more aggressive approaches at the beginning. Like we don't have to you know, tell the client we're going too hard, but you know, put them in an environment where they're guaranteed to lose a good two, three, four pounds in the first week, because that's gonna motivate them. They're gonna mm. be like, oh, this trainer knows what they're doing. So quick wins, I obviously assess their level of motivation and capacity to change at the beginning because if someone's highly motivated, has a high readiness to change, then I can give them a lot more information at the beginning and I know that they're going to be okay. If someone's feeling, you know, a bit emotional, a bit stressed, you know, even the personal training feels like a bit of a burden to get to and just do, then they're going to have a very low level of capacity to change so we need to layer it on slowly so i'll always get quick wins in a client try and get them just eating well as quickly as possible and it might be just swapping a few things and maybe asking them what are their favorite fruits okay we've got five fruits that you like can we just eat more of those fruits Mm -hmm. rather than saying oh these fruits are really good i don't like them well you're not going to get a client to eat them if they don't like them that's something that maybe comes further down in the journey when they have a greater capacity to handle new things. So I'll get those quick wins and then I'll work with them over time to educate them. And then that might be that we talk about calories or specific food swaps or maybe a few things that they could really improve on. Um, And that's kind of my approach. So I'll always get them eating well and feeling great and then build on layers of specificity. Mm, okay and would you choose sort of one thing at a time you know let them focus on you, know, we, we, you talk about the, the book the you know the one thing would you have that approach of intuition right what one thing is going to make a really good impact now let's just focus on that again on some clients if they've got a, um, a low capacity to change and they need like a habit based approach then yes if not they might be ready to just get going just go like tell me, camp, yeah, oh, let's yeah just... tell me what to eat tell me how to train brilliant the, the the downside with that with the trainer is people, trainers will assume that the energy and the capacity to change will stay really high the whole time. And the problem is, is everyone will have a bit of a wobble mm. like because it's been it has actually been too much too soon. So a trainer needs to recognize when that's going to happen, week three, four, five, six, seven, whenever it is. And that's when the re-education process starts to come because a lot of trainers will get lazy They'll give a client a diet plan, a training plan, some lifestyle changes, and they just do it. And the mm. trainer's like, easy money, yeah. done it. Just go off and do it. But there's going to be a point where they ro- uh, wobble because they haven't re-educated some of the client's patterns and they're starting to go back to their old ways. Mm. So that's why the education process in, in, in being a personal trainer is fundamental. Mm. I guess it comes down to what we were discussing before about how badly someone wants something too, isn't it? You, you can probably adjust to more behavior changes depending on how much you really want it. Um, mm-hmm. I guess you got a wedding in six weeks. Oh, <laughs> probably it's about six weeks, isn't it, for you? Uh, no, it's three. That oh, was it? Three weeks. <laughs> I was just talking hypothetically yeah. about somebody if they've got yeah. a wedding in three weeks. Yeah. Um, you, you can't do the slow, steady approach, can you? Mm-hmm. You're going to have to do as much as you can in that short space of time. Yep. And, and, and actually, if your wedding's in three weeks, you're probably going to do it. Well, I think you're there. Um, <laughs> you're done. 